Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the bridge frame consists of three segments which can be considered pin at A, T and E. So here we have these supports A, B, D and E. And further it is said that they are rocker supported at C and F and roller supported at B. So at B here we have the roller support and C and F we have the rocker support. And we are required to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reactions at all these supports due to the loading shown. So this whole bridge is subjected to this distributed load and this distributed load is 2 k per, per feet. So what we will do is that since it is the problem related to the frames and machines, so what we normally do to analyze such kinds of problems, we disassemble this, uh, this assembly. So we will disassemble this bridge and we will analyze the individual parts for equilibrium since the whole bridge is in equilibrium. So if we consider this BD member and at point B we have the roller support. So this EBC part of the bridge will apply the force on this BD member in the upward direction like this. So let us say that this is BY. And at this point D, we have a hinge kind of joint. So we will have two reactions. We will have DX reaction, DY reaction, and we will have DX reaction like this. So if we consider this BD member, so we will have that BY force which will be acting vertically upward at this point B, and we will have that DX and DY. And this BD uh, member has a length of 30 feet. So we can represent the distributed load on this BD member by finding the area of this distributed load. So we can convert this distributed load into concentrated load and the magnitude of that concentrated load will be equal to the area of this triangle which covers this BD member. So the area of this triangle is the height of this triangle is 2 kip per feet and so if we multiply it with 30 so that will be equal to 60 kips. So that 60 kips load will be applied at the midpoint of this triangle right at the mid length of this BD member. So I can represent that concentrated load which ha which replaces this distributed load and this concentrated load has a magnitude of 2 into 30 so which is 60 kips and it is acting at the midpoint of the BD member. So the length of BD member is 30, so it is acting at 15 feet distance. So this is 15. So now if we analyze member BD and if we apply the summation of moment about point D equals to 0 and if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so as we can see that this BY is producing the clockwise moment about this point D. So I will write minus BY and the moment arm of this BY or the perpendicular distance of this BY from that point D is 30 feet, which is the length of this BD member, which is 30 feet. So we will multiply it with 30. And similarly, uh, this 60 kip force is producing the uh, counterclockwise moment about that point D. So I will write plus this is 60 and the moment arm of the 60 kip force from that point D is 15 feet. So I will multiply it with 15 and this will be equal to 0. And if I bring this to the other side of equation, so it will become negative. And if we divide both sides of equation by 30, the negative signs will cancel out. So BY will be equal to this thing and this is 15. 30 divided by 15 is 2 and 60 divided by 2 is 30. So BY is 30 kips. So BY reaction is 30 kip. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0, if this is our positive X direction, so as we can see that this DX is acting in the positive X, so I will write DX. And while considering this BD member, we can see that there is no other uh, force which is acting in the X direction. So this means that DX uh, support is zero, right? Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along Y equals to zero, and if this is our positive Y direction, 
again we can see that this by is acting in the positive y direction and this dy is acting in the positive y direction so i will write dy plus this by and by is 30 kips and similarly this 60 kip force is acting in the downward direction so i will write minus 60 and this is equal to 0 so 30 minus 60 is minus 30 so this means that dy is 30 kips as well now to find the reactions at point c we need to consider this abc member so if we are going to consider this abc member so the same by force which is applied by this abc member on this bd member will be applied by this bd member on this abc so we will have that same by force but in the opposite direction here so this is that by and by magnitude is 30 kips and similarly we have this much distributed load we have this much distributed load which is acting on a distance of 15 feet right so if we convert this distributed load into concentrated load so that concentrated load will be acting at the midpoint of this 15 feet distance and its magnitude will be equal to the area of this distributed load so again the area of this distributed load is 2 times 15 the height of this triangle is 2 kip per, per feet and if we multiply it with 15 feet so that will be the uh, the magnitude of that concentrated load so 2 into 15 gives us 30 kips so that 30 kip force is acting at the midpoint of that 15 meters length which is uh, 15 feet length which is between a and b so this is 30 kip and at point a we have the pin support so we will have two reactions we will have a x reaction in the horizontal direction this is a x and we will have a y and at point c we have the rocker support so we will have only one reaction that will be acting in the upward direction let's say this is c y so now if we consider member a b c and if we apply the summation of moment about point a summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so as we can see that this c y is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point a and the counterclockwise moment is positive so we will write c y and the perpendicular distance of this c y from that point a is 5 feet so i will multiply it with 5 similarly this 30 kip is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 30 and the perpendicular distance of this 30 kip force from that point A is the half of this 15 feet which is 7.5. So I will multiply it with 7.5. Similarly this BY is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point A. So I will write minus 30 and the moment arm of this BY force from that point A is 15 feet. So we will multiply it with 15 and this is equal to 0 and if I bring these two terms to the other side of the equation so they will become positive and if we divide this whole equation by 5 we will be able to find that C Y uh, reaction at that point C so this is 30 into 7.5 plus 30 into 15 divided by 5 so C Y is 135 kips now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 while considering that same abc member so as we can see this is our positive x direction so this ax is acting in the positive x direction so i will write ax and there is no other force which is acting on this abc member in the horizontal direction so this means that ax reaction force is 0 similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and if this is our positive y direction so this a y is acting in the positive y so i will write a y and this plus c y which is acting in the positive y as well and c y is 135 this 30 k force is acting in the downward direction that is in the negative direction which is 30 and this is also acting in the negative direction which is 30 again so this is minus 30 and this is equal to 0 and if we bring these uh, terms to the other side of equation so the signs will become negative so this will be minus 135 plus 30 
plus 30. So this is a minus 135 plus 60. So this gives us minus 75. EY equals to minus 75. Keeps. So the negative sign indicates that the assumed direction F of EY is not accurate. It is acting in the downward direction. Now to find the forces at point F, E and D, we are going to consider this member DEF. So member DEF. So at this point D, we will have that same DX and DY forces, but they will be acting in the opposite direction since uh, these are the forces, DX and DY are the forces that are applied by this member. So as a reaction, this BD member will apply these same forces on this DEF member, but in the opposite direction. So uh, this will be that same DX force and this will be that same DY force. So DX is zero and dy is this is 0 and dy is 30 kip and again this much of distributed load uh, if we replace it by concentrated load so that will be 2 times that 15 so that will be 30 kips this is 30 and at point e we have the pin joint so we will have e y and EX, let's see. And at point F, we will have only one reaction that is in the vertical direction, that is FY. Now, if we apply the summation of moment about point E equals to 0 and the counterclockwise moment is positive, so as we can see that this FY is producing the clockwise moment, so I will write minus FY. And the perpendicular distance of this Fy from that point E is 5 feet. So I will multiply it with 5. Similarly, uh, this dy is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point E. So I will write plus. And dy is 30. And the moment arm of this dy from that point E is 15 feet. The length of this de is 15. And this concentrated load is again producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write plus 30. And the moment arm of the this 30 kip force from that point e is the half of this 15 feet, which is 7.5. And since this dx is 0, so it's not going to produce any moment. So inspection should is 0. So it does not exist. So this is equal to 0. And if I bring this Fy term to the other side of equation, so it will become positive. So we will have Fy into 5. And if we divide both sides of the equation by 5, then we will be able to find that Fy magnitude. So this is 30 into 15 plus 30 into 7.5 divided by 5. And Fy is 135. Again, so Fy is 135 kips. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, if we apply, if this is our positive x direction, so this Ex is acting in the positive x direction, uh, in the negative x, so I will write minus Ex. And there is no other force in the horizontal direction. This dx is 0. So this means that this ex is also 0. So from this we can say that ex is also 0. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. And if this is our positive y direction. So as we can see that this ey is acting in the positive y. So I will write ey minus this 30 kip which is acting in the negative y minus this 30 kip again and plus this Fy which is 135. So this is equal to 0 and again if I bring this to the other side of equation so we will have minus 135 plus 30 plus 30 and Ey is minus 75. So Ey is minus 75 kip so this means that the assumed direction of EY is not accurate. It is acting in the downward direction and its magnitude is 75 kip.
So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Also like this video if it helps in your learning.